Hi Cancers, this is your first of the month reading from July the 1st to 15th. I hope everyone is having a good start of their month. If this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, share, comment. If it doesn't, uh, check your moon and rising um, sign because you could be in that energy as well. Remember these are general readings, so um, just take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay. Right off the bat, Cancer. <clears throat> I feel like you have been, um, recently things have not been going the way you wanted them to. Um, kind of, we got the Wheel of Fortune here reversed, um, which kind of just means, um, basically things are, are just not turning in your favor. So you might have felt a lot of unexpected uh, setbacks. Uh, you were, might have been feeling like, um, you know, things haven't kind of been going the way you've wanted them to. Seems like kind of one blow after the other and it's creating quite a little bit of sadness for you. Um, it's having you having you question a lot of things, trusting the universe and kind of what is going on. I think you, um, it's weird that we kind of have this like, um, trust card here because you're just kind of like I almost feel like it's kind of like you're like what is going on right now there's just so many things that are kind of happening that are just not turning out right um is something I'm doing but I don't want you to question it like that I just need you to kind of question it like the ebb and flow in life because right now it seems like there's a little bit of a lot of sadness going on with you um which is obvious especially if things aren't kind of going in your favor we're looking at the stuff in our life that has fallen we're looking at the stuff in our life that we do not have anymore but I always remind people with the the five of cups you gotta look at the two cups that are still standing um, because those are the ones that you should focus on is focusing on what you still kind of have here what what's still standing for you even though we are feeling this way even are we we are um, focusing on the sad and it sounds so easy to just be like full well, focus on the other good stuff um, obviously it's hard especially when things aren't going in your favor or there's been a lot of bad news recently um, it's totally understandable to get like this, um, of course. But maybe just like make a little intention in the morning to just be like, you know what, today I'm thankful for I have this, I'm thankful for that I have that. Um, just a way to kind of <clears throat> ease the funk a little bit here. Okay, more for Cancer. There is this kind of fear of this um, new start here, this fear of uh, moving on from this chapter. We have the death card here as well, so it could represent um, Scorpio energy, it could represent physical death as well, um, but there is this fear of, uh, of this fresh start that we're having right now, of really going out there. And I think it's because of all these things that are happening um, right now for you. You're kind of fearing, um, you know, you're kind of fearing things ending a little bit here. Whatever this ending was for you, um, it's it, it's the fear of kind of going on to something new. It's the fear of continuing things without, um, I just wanna feel what I'm feeling here. It's a fear of the next chapter in the sense of being like, it's so unknown to me that I don't like it. And this death could have been a physical death. It could have been uh, just a death of a situation. But you're kind of almost feeling like catapulted back in, um, kind of back, bolted back at life again um, after a time where it kind of just kind of brought you down a bit. So you're just like, oh, like I don't know how I'm going to navigate. I don't know how I'm going to move through um, kind of after all these setbacks here. Okay, let's see what Cancer can kind of do. Some sneaky energy here, but I'm kind of feeling it's like sneaking yourself out a bit here. What is the Seven of Swords energy for Cancer? Someone might be sneakily, being sneaky with a bit of money or money that you're they're giving you here. Um, there's some like helping out or some or some giving of money here, but it's saying maybe don't be um, so trustworthy of it in a way. Or um, something is a little bit sneaky here with that. I don't know what that is. Um, maybe just watch if someone's um, just listen to your gut here. If someone's being extra charitable in a way, but you don't kind of trust it. Um, maybe someone's kind of giving you a loan here. Uh, maybe someone's giving you kind of a money handout for the situation. Just, 
just watch it. Just be mindful of it. Just kind of check it out for a little bit um, here. Um, there might be some sneaky action kind of towards that. There is this Ten of Pentacles reverse. So again, feeling abundant. Maybe this time we're not feeling abundant, especially after all these things that have happened to us. Maybe some of us um, are not feeling like any of that will kind of be ours anymore. Um, I just want to let you know it will be yours. You just got to keep believing it and giving hope that yes, this abundant life is for you. Maybe if it's not feeling that way right now, um, it does kind of feel like, again, you're going to get over this stage and you're going to move on and um, life is going to kind of continue here because there is this ace of pentacles so you might uh, be getting a new job here as well um that will kind of end this kind of conflict for you maybe um if this was a conflict at work um having to do with finances in general whatever this ace of pentacles is whatever this kind of new um job new beginning the stability is for you it's going to be the end of a lot of a struggle for you um it's going to be an end of a lot of fighting and conflict uh, so that's good whatever this kind of stability is I was just watching your old job with maybe there is just this, this weird with the seven of swords energy there's this weird almost withholding of money in a weird way there's this weird i don't i don't know what it is i'm getting a, just a sense of it um maybe you're having a hard time like um, getting money from a situation or you're owed money in a way i don't know whatever that is i'll just kind of let it be there if it resonates it resonates we have the emperor card reverse you might be dealing with someone with a big ego and aries um the emperor reverse is kind of all about maybe too much control um they're all about um can, can be about big egos can i see what kind of what this emperor represents for cancers here what is this emperor representing for cancers yeah, you feel out in the cold by this either this Aries or this someone with this big ego. You feel like they really let you down. They really put you out in the cold here. Um, they really left you like high and dry. Whether this is someone, maybe this was a boss with kind of a big ego there. Um, again, it could be an Aries. It could be just someone that was kind of really controlling in the situation. You felt like they kind of just left you out to to dry a bit here um but you kind of left you with nothing took a lot away for you so you might be feeling left out in the cold by them um, or their actions here um but i think this again i think this new job or whatever this is kind of new uh financial stability kind of thing that's going to come in here i think it's going to really help you kind of focus um focus on something new and it'll be something um good to put your energy into a bit here we have the queen of wands popping out Queen of Wands is kind of someone that's creative, someone's passionate. And more on this Queen of Wands, what they're kind of representing here. Impress. All right. Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, and the Empress. What a what a trio, I would say here. Passion, abundance, um, and value. I'm getting this sense here that whatever this is, whatever kind of what we're going through now, we're working our way up to here. We're working our way up to this queen, to this empress, to this um, queen of wands. Uh, this energy, whatever, with a situation where we left out of cold, you're just kind of like, you know what, I'm abundant. I'm going to kind of work on myself here. I'm going to um, work on my value here. I'm going to be passionate again about life. Whatever this past situation was that I'm kind of going through here, the situation where I felt abandoned, I'm just going to... Um, realize that I'm a bad bitch and I'm going to kind of move forward from it and I say bad bitch in the way again male or female but just be like you know what no I'm not going to let this get the best of me I am going to kind of put my energy into my finances I'm going to put my um, energy into my creativity and really just overall I think bringing the energy back to myself because again um you're like again this rocky period that you're kind of going through here um i think you're just kind of on the tail end coming out of it and kind of on the way back up can i have more what these kind of queen of pentacles and this empress kind of all represents for cancer yeah i think it's judgment time in the sense judgment kind of came out in this and it's judgment it's like can we be um can we really take that zest for life again can we really kind of get out of this um rut space and can we really see our value can we see um what it is we want to create can we have a vision for the future again and that's where the judgment card is kind of popping out here it's judgment time the universe is kind of seeing hey have they learned from their lessons um you know how are they going to apply this moving forward in their life um what kind 
kind of this situation, uh, feeling like left out of the cold, what are they going to make of it? What are they going to do um, from it? And are they going to move on from it? Is, it? is it a lesson learned? And I think that is the most important part of judgment here. Whatever lesson that you had to learn in the last little while, are we kind of um, seeing this as a lesson and are we kind of moving forward in that sense um, here? And it's going to be a judgment time for you, Cancer. Um, and I don't want you to feel like, oh, well, <clears throat> I don't want you to feel like judgment to be scared of it. I think it's, I think when the judgment is upright, I think it's something that you will clearly see. Um, judgment, you will, you will have the right judgment call on this kind of situation moving forward. Um, I want you to still see and they're um, trying to make me still clear that you are very abundant, even though if things aren't turning in your way, you still are a very abundant and you still will be. Just focus that energy on the kind of the good things in your life um, that will help attract more abundance um, coming forward, right? Again, we can't control the ebb and flows in life. All we can kind of control is our um, attitude towards it. All right, for Cancers, not moving on. What is this Cancers not moving on from? Again, guys, there's, I'm on, uh, there's this energy of not moving forward and feeling stagnant again. I feel like we're in this space of um, stagnancy and we're feeling like we're stuck. We're feeling like we're not moving forward, things aren't getting better. Whatever it is here, it's just a stuck energy. You're like, I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not having the zest for life again. I'm not feeling that um, adventure. I'm not feeling that excitement um, with this page of wands reverse and this knight of um, swords reverse. You're just kind of not walking away from that. You're kind of just like, I just kind of want to stick in this pain a little bit. I just want to stick in this energy here. Um, a little bit longer. Maybe that's just your self-healing from this um, experience from all these downturns, but obviously when we get knocked back a few times, that definitely obviously um, hurts us and it makes us feel like, hey, I don't know if I want to be vulnerable and kind of put myself out there again. But I think this whole reading is trying to say, see yourself as these queens of pentacles, these queens of wands, see yourself on that throne and see yourself on the all these thrones and see kind of what you deserve and what the universe should bring towards you. When you bring that kind of energy there, hopefully that zest for life comes back, um, especially after all these kind of setbacks that you've had in the last little bit. <clears throat> For cancer, please. What can cancer do to find that zest for life again? What can they do to kind of really um, find that drive um, back in their energy? Strength, they're just saying have strength, you know, have the strength to persevere, have the strength to keep moving forward um, in life. <sighs> No one is saying that this is easy. No one is saying that this time is easy at all. No one is saying that you should just forget about it. Should you leave it? You should be cured. You should walk away from this. Not what they're saying. They're just saying have the strength to <clears throat> every day be like today is a new day. I focus on something new today. This is what I want to create. This is um, what I'm going to focus my energy on. I'm thankful for this. I am thankful for this and I'm going to move forward with that because then you're kind of switching your vibration and you're putting the positive um, vibration out there. You're pu putting the positive and attracting more to yourself. Uh, you're like, I am abundant. Again, this is just a setback. This is not supposed to be an easy time for you. This is a tough time um, for sure. Not doubting that at all. Just saying, uh, you know, have the strength to kind of keep going. Um, try and build that kind of fight in these two weeks here. It's our card. Have a little bit of hope for the future again. Hope of um, what you can create, that your dreams can kind of come true here. Um, hope that, you know, hope for a brighter day. Hope for a brighter future um, for yourself. And I think that's just what we kind of got to focus on here. It's kind of a focus on our hope. Um, hope that new um, revelations are on the way. Hope that, um, you know, days can be bright again and things will turn in our favor in the future. Um, <clears throat> and hope that, you know, what it is that you want will be yours. Yeah, just done with the constant battle. I think there is this uh, this def um, this little defeatist energy, but they kind of want you to be more um, active in the sense they want you to be a bit more, um, you know, go into battle for it is what you kind of want here. Um, 
have that passion kind of pop back in, especially with this Ace of Wands, you know, have that fiery start again, that creative drive to be like, you know what, I'm going to make the most of this situation and I'm going to go out there and get it in, and get what I want and I'm going to go out there and get the life I deserve and I'm going to go out there and do that. I'm going to have the strength to push past this part, to push past this kind of sadness and kind of create this kind of new life for myself here. Anything else for Cancer before I grab some Oracle cards? Okay, they're done talking. <laughs> Alright. Cancer. Answer please for July 1st to the 15th. For cancer. Thank you. <clears throat> Alright, so the energy oracle you got was man holding a heart. Male dealing with family, love, or emotions. This tender man sits with flowers around him, holding a heart in his hands. For a man, this signals a greater clarity about emotions and their purpose in life. <clears throat> there could also be a more balanced approach to family and love at this time. Even if there's been a confusing experiences for you in the past, for, uh, even, uh, sorry, there could be a more balanced approach to family and love at this time. Even if these have been confusing experiences for you in the past. <clears throat> for some, this card upright could signal the presence of a new man in your life one who tends to be more thoughtful and aware. Whether or not this man is a love interest or a friend, he brings high intention to help where personal projects, family, or home issues are concerned. I am comfortable with my, all of my emotions and I honor and express them in appropriate ways. I feel peace. I think that's good. I think whoever this man um, kind of is in this picture here is here to kind of help you through this situation. He might be here to kind of give some um, tendering love and care to you as well. All right. Then we have the whale song or the orca elder. Okay, whale and orca elders, share your song. The whale and orca elders are benevolent cosmic beings here to anchor a frequency of love into the planet, to harmonize it with their song. As they weave around the oceans, they do so much more than any of us know. Their physical presence affects uh, Earth's magnetic field and their harmonic uh, calls uh, calls us to wake up and remember our own soul song. Looking in the eye of the whale is something you'll never forget. The whales see into your very being in that instant. You're changed forever. They see beyond the physical, the wounding, the identity, the personality, the story. They see right into your soul. If you pull this card, you're being called to surrender to your deepest truths and share it with potency. To bow to who you truly are, to stretch your heart wide enough to hold, uh, to hold it all, to leave all your fears, doubts, and baggage at the door, to question any part of you that doesn't feel enough. The whale orca elders want you to give, to question any, they want me to go back, question any part of you that doesn't feel good enough. The whale and orca elders want you to give others the uh, privilege of seeing who you truly are and for you to see the same in other beings, to drop your hang-ups and personality flaws, to get busy revealing the unique notes your soul came here to sing. Allow the song that echoes in the four chambers of your heart to emanate in all four directions. Peel back the layers of suffering and pain and to reveal to others your soul's true song and endeavor to see your soul for those who you meet you. How are you being called to share your uh, soul's unique song? And I think that's so beautiful, Cancer, because you're so much more than any of this bad stuff that happened um, that's been kind of going on, whatever sadness this is. You're so much more and you have so much more to give and share. Um, I have that. I love you. Okay. Uh, this was your bi-weekly reading. I hope this helped.